what did we just see? Blahal Muhammad, Gilbert Burns. What, what did you guys see there? I'm not asking you who won. I, I got it that Blahal won. I'm not, I'm not asking if you thought it was close. I, I get it. Blahal might have won every round here. What? What? What did you see? I'm, I'm a little perplexed. I have never seen Gilbert Burns look like this. I've known Gilbert Burns almost a decade, including on a personal level. I have never seen him look like this, and I cannot elaborate or expand on that thought. I mean it. I know what I saw. I saw it in the very first round. I saw it at the conclusion of the first round on Gilbert's face. But I, I, I can't, I can't clarify what it was. Did you see it? It did not look like he was prepared to be in there. And that's a very common thing, particularly with somebody with the history of Gilbert. I mean, if people say anyone, anywhere, anytime, Gilbert actually does it. So does Blahal. Uh, we, we've got, we must give credit here. There's two sides of this coin, and I do want to give that to Blahal, but I, I'm just, I'm just talking about, did you see that with Gilbert as well? Did, did you see where something appeared that it was off? He will likely never tell us what it is. I mean, the, the true tough guys don't. So many guys would come out with, with, with an X-ray tomorrow or a statement the real tough guys don't. But I felt as though I saw it. I felt like I saw frustration. I felt as though I saw Gilbert very early, as early as the first round, look as though his goals had changed from winning the fight to surviving the fight, which is something you would do if you were sick and or hurt. I'm just bringing that up because Let's go to Blaw. Mohammed was so basic. I mean, it was it was impressive how basic it was. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. They're 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 doing cameos at this point. They threw to Corey Sandhagen, who thought it was a good idea to do the the double cross-eyed where your your both your eyes cross. Then they flew to threw to Sean O'Malley, who was wearing a jacket like Michael Jackson used to wear in the 80s. And he was pandering to the crowd who was going crazy for him. I believe that Sandhagen, even in this cameo, just pulled a Sandhagen. Now, let's go back to Mohammed. I truly appreciate this in two regards. What he just did, I'm talking about his physical performance. He was so basic, right? I mean, you run into these Izzy Adesanya guys, what are you going to do? Honest, honest to God, you, you want to go learn self-defense? You want to go get a, a concealed carry permit? If a brick falls on your head, there's nothing you can do, right? You run into, you run into Israel Adesanya. Okay, I mean, you did a life of martial arts. I'm sorry. He's got skills. and you know, to me, I watched Demetrius Johnson fight last night. Like, there's some guys, right? John Jones. Like, what, what, what are you, you going to do? The brick falls on your head. That's not what Muhammad did. And Daniel Cormier represented the other side of it. Randy Couture represented the other side of it. Khabib, George St. Pierre, quite frankly, regardless of the way you remember Khabib and George St. Pierre, they were very straightforward. They didn't do anything that you hadn't seen a hundred other people do. And so when Blal goes out, he's boxing heavy with just enough kicks to demonstrate that he's got an complete understanding and arsenal. He went from Southpaw to Orthodox and he didn't hide it. Hey, I'm Orthodox. Hey, I'm Southpaw. Hey, let me take this half a second to change my feet and my hands. But it's very interesting. Cody Garbrandt's got a combination where, where he, he's, he's Orthodox. He's hitting you. You look down his feet. I mean, it's like magic. And all of a sudden he's Southpaw. You go, when, when did that happen? And then he'll be in the middle of a combination. You look down, he's back door. You go, what? whoa, what is this? Was this a sleight of hand? How did he do that? Right, it's it's Blahal Muhammad traded right in front of him. Hey, give me give me a second while I switch to this stance. 
Then Bahama Muhammad kept touching the body. And Gilbert was having big problems with that. Everybody has problems with that. But Gilbert didn't know where to react. Gilbert didn't know where to, whether to sprint or wind his watch. He, he, he was really thrown off with those body attacks. Where do, I, where do I put my hands? Is he coming left? Is he coming right? It was very simple. If you go back and you watch Mohammed, there was also some consistencies that are very difficult. Let me explain. He worked the whole time. You go back and you watch that. You watch any round. Go back, put the fight on. Go, go get yourself your remote, hit rewind, and then at a random time, hit play. Any random time. And I guarantee you one thing you will not see is Mohammed standing still. Canelo. Canelo was in there boxing tonight. Canelo and his opponent both. I mean, it was just footwork. They're bouncing, they're bouncing, their heads moving, they're bouncing, they're bouncing, their hands moving, everybody's moving, everybody's moving. That's not what Mohammed did. He was much more flat-footed. But never, not once, was he standing still. Not ever. Even if it was one inch at a time, two inches at a time, ever so slight, half an inch this way, quarter inch this way, you'll never find a time that he wasn't moving. And that just defensively is a massive leg up. He also did a very good job of controlling range. Now, I've seen Mohammed fight a number of times. I never understood this until tonight. He's been doing this his last six fights. I didn't catch it till tonight. He is a damn expert. And I mean an expert at range. He's not over there bobbing and weaving and moving and dying. He's not doing that, parrying and slipping. He's not doing that because he doesn't have to. He's out of range. You can't hit the son of a bitch if you wanted to. He steps into range. When he's ready to hit you, he gets right back out of range. I mean, th this is Hoist Gracie 101. I'm either, I'm either in or I'm out, but I'm never in danger. It was very interesting, man. I didn't know Blahal was this good, and I knew he was good. I didn't know he was this good. Blahal versus Leon, again, whoa. Blahal versus Colby, come on. I mean, this, this is interesting stuff. And it really is a treat. We, we haven't got to see this very many times. We have got to see but not very many times. Where, where we know who the contender is when the fight still isn't signed in the first place. So we got a period of time. I mean, quite frankly, we're seeing it tonight with Sean O'Malley is, is in that position. But that's a treat. That's fun for us. We get to check into the training camps of Sean. Get to see what he and Tim are working on. Get to see how wrestling heavy they are versus jujitsu versus escapes. I mean, it's just, it's a very interesting thing. I like it. I like it for Muhammad. It does lend to the idea of just how good is Leon.